Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite WMS for outbound wave release orders. Starting on my dashboard in the top right hand corner, you can see I'm in a warehouse manager role, one of the many roles provided with NetSuite WMS. My dashboard allows me to identify and monitor work for the day, week, and other relevant time periods. I see that I have a mix of e-commerce and wholesale orders that are expected to ship today, February 2nd. My e-commerce orders are a mix of UPS and FedEx. We we'll use these attributes, order type, and ship method to identify which orders are grouped together for wave release and which orders will be released for single versus multi-order picking. I'll go ahead and access wave release so I can identify and release each of my various orders. In this case, I want to release all orders with an order type of e-commerce, ship date of today, February 2nd, and ship method of UPS. Rather than my warehouse manager having to input the criteria each time, I can simply use native NetSuite Save Search functionality to build a template that, upon selection from the template list, pre-populates the relevant details, making my warehouse manager's job a bit more efficient. Let's go ahead and submit our search. Upon submitting the template, the orders and lines that meet the template criteria will return. I'll select all of my e-commerce UPS orders slated to go out today, which will auto-select the lines associated to each order. Note that some of my orders contain the same NSII 1375 item. The system summarizes the orders, lines, and total units represented. Since my parcel orders are generally fewer lines and in smaller volumes, I'll release them for multi-order picking, so my operator will be prompted to pick all of the selected orders in one pass of the warehouse. Let's go ahead and save so that the system generates our pick tasks. Upon release, NetSuite WMS will identify for each line on each order the proper recommended bin location for picking. In doing so, it'll take into consideration things such as available quantity in the bin, the item's preferred bin location, first expired first out for lock controlled items, unit of measure, order type, among other logic. Note that for orders that have the shared item, I only have one pick task and the quantity is summed across all orders. My mobile operator will only visit a single bin location to pick NSII 1375 for all of the relevant orders. At this point, I can produce a paper pick ticket. However, the paper is not necessary. The mobile RF handheld device will give my picker everything he needs to properly pick. Now that I've released my e-commerce UPS orders, I'll go back and release my wholesale orders for single order picking. Note that I do have the option of filtering lines that represent a particular item type or classification velocity. This allows me to implement a zone-based picking approach if applicable. For example, I can release all of my dry lines for a particular set of orders, release my frozen lines for the same set of orders, and then release my refrigerated lines. Let's go ahead and submit our search. I'll select the desired orders, and in this case, I'll select single order picking. If I need to rush an order through the fulfillment process, I can assign a high priority value here. Priority will move the orders to the top of the list for picking in the mobile, so that if my pickers are picking on a first come first serve basis, these orders will be next in their queue. If I want to assign a particular operator to the orders and or lines, I can save my wave and pending release status. I can go ahead and edit the wave, Access the pick tasks, select my desired picker or pickers, assign the picker to the tasks, update the status to released, and go ahead and save my wave again. Similar to multi-order release, the system will identify the proper recommended bin from which to pick. In this case, if the same item is on multiple orders, the system produces a pick task for each line since my pickers will pick these orders one at a time. Here, I can confirm my assigned pickers. Note that if a lot or serial is pre-assigned to an order line, NetSuite WMS will respect that assignment both as part of the wave release and the mobile picking process. Now, if I access my mobile RF handheld device as a user with the proper permissions, drill into my US1 location, select Picking, Multi-Order Picking, I can see that my multi-order wave is ready to pick. Similarly, if I back out to the main menu, select Picking, Single Order Picking, I can see that my two single orders are also ready to pick. Thank you for watching this demonstration.